Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Monday, July 27th. And in my ongoing education piece around gratitude, today we have gratitude improves your decision making. Decision making is really tiring. So tiring that we automate to our subconscious much of the reasoning that goes behind making a decision. Even for the most basic of decisions, like where to go to eat, there are dozens of variables to consider. How much time and money do I want to spend? What cuisine would I like today? Am I willing to travel far? What should I go, what should I get once I get there? And so on. If you deliberated on each of these decisions one at a time, your mind would be overwhelmed. The problem gets even worse for more complex decisions like making a diagnosis. In one study, doctors were given a list of ailments from a hypothetical patient and also given a misleading piece of information that the patient had been diagnosed at another hospital as having lupus. Half the doctors had gratitude evoked by giving them a token of appreciation. Those who did not receive a token of appreciation were more likely to stick with the incorrect diagnosis of lupus. Those who did receive the gratitude were energized to expand more energy, expend more energy, and to pay their gratitude forward onto their patient. They also considered a wider range of treatment options. The above study shows that gratitude motivates improved decision making. Those who cultivate an attitude of gratitude find tokens of appreciation every day on their own. And my last point for today, gratitude increases your productivity. Those who are insecure have difficulty focusing because many of their mental resources are tied up with their worries. On the other hand, those who are highly confident are able to be more productive because they can direct more of their focus towards their work. This operates at both a conscious and some conscious subconscious level. We may be getting mentally distracted by our worries or more commonly, parts of our subconscious mind are expanding energy, expanding energy rather, to suppress negative information and concerns. As gratitude has been shown to increase self-esteem and reduce insecurity, this means they can help us focus and improve our productivity. Gratitude is no cure-all, but it is a massively underutilized tool for improving life satisfaction and happiness. Boy, I think that says it all. So consider that if you will, and think about how gratitude continued to impact your life, focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. And I love the statement, gratitude turns what you have into enough. That's the gratitude news for today. I'm David George Brook, that gratitude guy. I'll tune in tomorrow. We'll see you for the next news tomorrow. Take care.